I think Swansea have done very well this season. I think that they've done very well last season. Um, Swansea is a big club. Um, they were in the Premier League three years ago. I think they, after, especially after they changed to their new system, they did that before, uh, or how can you say, after the first uh, Corona uh, break to the 3-5-2 um, system, different in the midfield, sometimes a 6-8, sometimes two sitters and then a 10. They are very well drilled and coached by Steve Cooper and his coaching staff. Uh, they know exactly what they want offensively and defensively. They have that extra edge when you always have wing backs that are wider. So you, how do you close them down and they produce a lot of crosses? You know, they have IU and Low up, for, up front that, that get on the end of those crosses. But most impressively, I would say, is their defensive record. They, by far, is the team that can see the, the least goals. And we know all, if you want to break up or break down or, or break through a, a back five and with three midfielders in front, it's very, very difficult. So they have that defensive discipline and, and, um, and awareness and, and, and 100% clear in what they want to do. So it's going to be a very tough game, but we're looking forward to it. It's two teams that want to dominate and want to take control of the game. So all of us just looking forward to a, a top match to play against a very strong opponent. But of course, we believe in ourselves as well. Given Swansea's defensive strength, Ivan Tony hasn't scored in his last four games. This would seem to be a perfect opportunity for him to once again show a little bit of magic and that creativity that we know he's so capable of. Yeah, I agree with you. That would be perfect, Stuart, if you picked the game tomorrow to get, uh, get a, a one or, or two goals uh, into the back of the net. But I also agree with you with that uh, creativity because it's quite remarkable. He also got, what was it, five assists, something like that. And and some of them, the last assist for Simon Goddard against Luton, remarkable. So he really got that eye for his teammate as well. So, um, of course, Ivan need to to play a top game tomorrow, but it's not only about, only about Ivan. If all 11 play a top games, um, I'm pretty sure we'll be in, in a good place and they will they will build on each other's performance. But of course, he's a, he's a key player for us.